This video is intended mainly for people who have just downloaded the Stamp Manage Deluxe demo or perhaps you've purchased the program and you want to get started and learn how to use the program. So I'm going to show you how to do some things first. Um, okay, so right now I'm looking at the main screen and this is what you'll probably see if you've downloaded the demo version. And when you after you install the demo version and run it for the first time, you should see this. Um, just It's basically just a sample stamp that shows you what the what the main screen is going to look like after you've added, added a stamp. Now, unless you have this stamp, obviously, you can just delete this sample record. And to do that, you can, uh, one way to do that is just click on the um, stamp and then click on the delete button in the toolbar. Okay, so now after we've done that, we can um, add stamps that are in our inventory. So uh, to do this, you just click on the add stamp button in the upper left here. And um, now what you see here is basically all the stamps in the predefined or stock database that ships with the program. So in the lower right, you'll see all the countries that ship with the program. And if you want to add a stamp from a particular country, let's say, let's say we want to add some stamps from Australia. Uh, we can click on Australia and, it, and it'll show all the stamps in Australia. Or we just click on this little um, uh, icon to the left here. That'll expand Australia and show all the different categories available. So I'll click on regular issues. And let's say we have Scott stamp number two. Now to add that stamp, we just click on it. Uh, if you know the if you know the condition, for example, let's say it's mint very fine, you just can click on that uh, uh, that entry within the values list. Um, and you can also add, um, add additional information as needed here as well. There's a second page here if you need to add comments or uh, who you bought it from when you bought it, etc. So I'll click OK. And as you can see here, the stamp has now been added. Now this main window here shows the in your inventory or the stamps that you've added uh, to your inventory. Um, to edit the stamp, if you want to make changes to it later on, you can double click on the stamp. And let's say I want to change it to mint. Uh, to never hinged. I can go ahead and do that. Uh, by the way, these these uh, other tabs here, this is uh, if you want to add uh, your own images of the stamp. Let's say you've got a couple of images of the stamp you want to add to this uh, record. You can do that here. You can import it from a file. You can copy and paste it from the clipboard. Um, and so anyway, but for now, I'm just going to keep it simple. I click OK. And as you can see here, the additional information will now show up. Now there are more powerful ways of adding stamps. For example, let's go back in the add stamp dialog. Let's say I want to add a stamp. Let's say I have uh, it's got three, it's got number three, five, and six. What I can do is I'll select it's got number three. Then by holding down the control key, I can pick multiple stamps. So I hold the keep the hold the control key down, and I can click on the stamps I want to add. So I've chosen three stamps here. Click OK. You can see all three of them get added. Or to run reports, uh, there's there's a quite there's several ways of doing that. For example, let's say you just want to run a report on Australia regular issues, you can just right mouse click and run a report. So I just select uh, stamps owned by total value. Uh, okay, so once I've chosen a report to run, I get this print options dialog. Now, a lot of people get confused because they think they have to print out the report, but you don't need to print it out. You can just uh, pull this drop down. And you can click on preview. If you want to export it to PDF format, you just select Adobe PDF format here. Uh, I'll just preview, click start, and it's going to show you what's going to what the report's going to look like before you print it. Or if you're going to output to Adobe PDF, you don't. In many cases, you won't even want to print it. So as you can see here, by going through the menus, Stamp Manager has many features. One of those would be backing up your your data it takes you spend many hours entering data and obviously you do not want to lose that so we've got two ways to do that under the file menu you have backup database and this is just going to um, it's going to back up your data and in any images you've added to a local file and that file could be uh, on your hard drive as it is here or it could be a USB flash drive which you could take out of your computer later on or perhaps an external hard drive uh, we also have another internet backup, so you can back up data to the, to the internet. And obviously that is uh, very valuable because if you lose your computer or 
um, you know, some disaster happens to your house, it's it's a great idea to have the backup um, uh, on the on the internet. Um, okay, like I said, there's many features in the program. It uh, take too long to go through all of them. If you have any trouble, please feel free to email us under the help menu. You'll see the getting started guide, which may be helpful. Um, and we also have a for I also have a forum, and uh, you can ask questions there as well. Okay. Uh, Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.